So, just as a word of warning, the footage I'm uploading now, I recorded back in November. The reason I didn't get back to this game, especially considering how, relatively speaking, well the Against the Storm video I made did uh, back then, is because a bunch of stuff happened in my life. I don't really want to go into it, but it was a lot of family business and I basically didn't feel like doing anything for a few months. And even when I did get back to recording, I just didn't feel like playing anything that required me to explain stuff. So, it's been a while. This particular footage um, is some of the last stuff I recorded before I took a break. So, um, it's been sitting in my hard drive, just waiting for something to happen. I wasn't even uh, planning on putting it out, but I figured if I'm going to do another episode, and I do want to do more Against the Storm, I might as well upload this as well. So, yeah, this is not only older an old recording, it's also from an obviously from an older version of the game, pre-1.0. So, some stuff has been updated, some stuff is different, uh, but the fundamentals, I think, still hold. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it there and I'll, I'll let that sort of be its own explanation. Um, I'm going to try to keep more on top of things from now on. But, sorry for the delay and welcome back to Against the Storm. Here's what I recorded in October of 23. Welcome back to square one. We have no settlements down, and it's time to start rebuilding outwards. And I'm going to try to aim for one of these lead seals, though no promises. The cycle duration will be permanently increased by another eight. And if we go to a bronze seal now, you notice the consequence has already been reached. So I don't suppose I'll get another eight from this. In fact, I can check by going to the encyclopedia and looking up ancient seals and reading this out, and it says, The first time that you reforge a specific seal type, the time between future blight storms will be extended by a few years, eight years. So you've got to do each one. I could do another bronze seal, but that would only get me plus 10% citadel resources at the end of the cycle, and that's not really that great. Whereas if I got a lead seal, I get plus 12% and another eight years. This one probably looks in a more confident direction. I mean, I could go back out. It's effectively trying to reach the same point. I believe the bronze seal was over here somewhere this time. But I need to go further. That means a serious push. I may not make it in this run, especially if I beeline for the lead seal. But you never know. There is an upgrade or a consequence that will allow you to effectively... Um, that will allow you to move not just two of these uh, movement points, but four, so you go quite a ways. There is no reason I can't reach this lead seal. Anyway, I've got a couple of... I've got a bit of food to spend before the next one, and uh, I've been looking at the Obsidian Archive levels. I need to reach Obsidian Archive level 6 up here in order to get rain punk engines in which I can use pipes. So right now, pipes are completely useless to me. Uh, as is rain collectors, except when making crystallized dew. So I'm going to uh, ignore that feature for the time being until I've got a few more upgrades. Uh, I feel like filling out each of these lines ahead of time, rather than going up specific upgrades, because I mean, I have to get to the level 6 eventually, I'm going to need the food for it. So let's have a look at what we got. An increased option to choose from blue, uh, uh, to choose from when choosing blueprints as a reputation award. That would be a really useful and decrease. I mean, it's a base level upgrade, and I need to get up the Obsidian Archives in order to get the um, the Rain Punk thing. So I think I'm going to go to Obsidian Archives level four, and then I suppose I might as well just get First Dawn Headquarters level two. I might as well finish up this line, then go up through here. It's not probably an effect uh, efficient way to level up, but, you know, here we are. Now, I think I'm going to start, well, I'm definitely going to start around these fertile grounds, because extra food, and it's towards where I need to go, so this world map modifier is a good get early on. 
I can get... I've got two options. I can hit the Scarlet Orchard over here, which would put me behind a little bit, because I don't think I can go through the fertile grounds. Or I can just do another Royal Woodland Settlement. What is the bonus of the Scarlet Orchard here? The... We get the Fertile Grounds, which gives us an increased chance of uh, including fertile soil. And I think we've already got an average amount here. So that'd be pretty good. We've also got Royal Archaeologists and Buried Mysteries. Lush and exotic land filled with prehistoric remains. Ancient excavation sites can be found here. Big, it'd be an interesting one to start. And I suppose I could, well, go near this point of interest. It might be interesting to find out what that is and then sort of loop around to the lead seal here. Or I could try to angle in such a way that I just beeline for it. That would mean missing the Scarlet Orchard, though, and I haven't... I don't believe I've started in a Scarlet Orchard. So, look, I've done Royal Woodlands. I think I might have done a Scarlet Orchard start. But I'm tempted to go for that one anyway, because it's more interesting. Yep, we'll go for that one. Now, do I go to Veteran Difficulty? Here's the question. Uh, Blight, Rot, and Corruption will not really be a, pr uh, a problem because I don't have Rain Punk, and therefore the uh, Blight, Rot, Blight, Rot, and Corruption elements impact the the Rain Punk elements. If you start utilizing that, you will grow Blight, Rot. The only, the only the upside to that is that I can't actually do that because I don't have the required upgrade. Of course, this will have an increased effect on hostility. But it'll get me 72 food and 3 seal fragments and 140 experience. I mean, it'd get me a long way there. And I'm wondering whether or not I should go up. Might be a little early. Mild pioneer. Veteran. Fertile ground. I think this might be a good place to start our first veteran settlement. I'm not going to name it, I'll let it name itself. We are missing out on one positive seasonal condition, forest mystery, and gaining a negative one. So we'll have one positive condition and four negative conditions. But the additional f effects here are pretty decent. As long as we're careful, I don't see any reason we can't win on Veteran on this one. But for that reason, let's have a look at Caravans. Now, we can have either 9 or 8, uh, nine or eight here. Humans and a Lizard plus 2 Mystery Villagers. Or Harpies and 2 Mystery Villagers. Now, Pickled Goods is an interesting start, because we've got primarily Harpies here, which aren't the best starting. I wouldn't necessarily want to start with Harpies here. I'd rather the humans than the Harpies. But we do get the extra Pickled Goods and the extra food in general here, the insects. Which they can eat, but they don't get much in the way of benefit from it. Especially the Pickled Goods. We get less food, but we get fewer people. Eight only to begin with, plus the base goods. But we do get humans and lizards, which are probably better off having than harpies to begin with. Plus two extra villagers that we have to think about later. So I'm going to go with the humans and the lizard. We're going to bring along... Not that. What are we uh, looking at here, by the way? We are getting stone, which is good. No clay, which, is, which limits what we can do with pottery. We may get sea marrow. Copper. Pigment. From the trees. That's pretty good. This is a good start. Which means we could probably do religion here. And with humans and lizards on hand, religion might be a good goal to aim for. Now I could take three more villagers. And extra wood. That'd leave us with a lot of people to begin with. And not a lot of food. Well, we've got the extra roots and the eggs here. I don't much care for it. But we've got the increased fertile soil. So we can do farming. And we've, of course, we've got humans. So I'll tell you what. We'll leave behind the stone and the clay. We'll bring three extra villagers. That puts us down to 11 to start with. And 60 base food. Well, uh, sorry. 90 base food, including these eggs. I think we can manage this. I'm going to put it up to veteran difficulty. And we are going to give this a punt. Embark. I might fail this one. 
Excuse me, that's in the wrong place. <clears throat> I'm going up to veteran. This is probably cocky of me. All right, forest mysteries. One, two, three, four. So we got to worry about it through. Uh, so long as hostility is increasing, we have to worry about these getting worse. Our starting positive forest mystery is active during the drizzle, and some raindrops have a golden hue. Five clearance water for every ten drizzle water gathered. That will not matter in the slightest. Well, not very much. I think that might have some relation to crystallized dew, but even then, it's a fairly minor positive. Then, of course, we've got the storm. Minus four to global resolve stacks per level of hostility, naturally. The horrors from beneath. Strange voices call out from the depths. Villagers working in mines get negative 10 to resolve during the storm. So we don't want many people working in mines if we can help it. We have leakage. The cover of the ancient hearth has been damaged due to an exceptionally strong storm. The hearth's resistance has been decreased by 200%. I don't know what that means exactly. The hearth's resistance. Only active during the storm, but I imagine that's not very good. Corrosive rainfall. Uh, acid rain is slowly eating away all metal objects, producing copper bars and crystallized dew, and all goods that use metal ingots yields 50% fewer goods from Hostility 3. That's a good one. I don't mind having that. It's only a minor debuff to metal produ production and crystallized dew production. Not ideal, but by no means unmanageable. And... Sacred Flame Rituals. Uh, the only, only the Sacred Flame can protect the settlement from the darkness surrounding it. Pay three wood for every villager in your settlement. If you don't pay for all of them, two people will leave. We better have wood on hand then. With no beavers, that might be a problem. But, hopefully this should be okay. Oh dear. Oh, we got eggs to start with and immediately some fertile ground. Uh, and some stone, so not a bad start. Let's put down some roads. Here and here. Uh, we're on a higher difficulty. I think it might be worth, on this occasion, barging into the bigger glades. This one doesn't look so terrible to start with. Think about starting down here. Or across here. We've got a lot of dangerous glades around us, which is not bad news, actually. I could either cut through to this one, or I could cut down to this one, which looks a bit... Well, I don't know. Or I could cut back to this one. Got a lot of options, uh, what I could go with. What I want to avoid, I think, on this occasion, is the small glades, since they're going to be contributing uh, about half. And I don't think they contribute... 50% of the goods. You get way more value from those dangerous forbidden glades than you do from the small glades. Oh, we got harpies anyway. Never mind. I could have done with more lizards. So we've got six humans, two lizards, and three harpies. I've had better starts. But I've had worse. I think we cut directly into this dangerous clade from the get-go. I reckon we should have enough to deal with that from the start, so... We'll just do some clearance. We won't immediately cut into that, but what we'll do, and I'll, uh... Describe this in a second, is we're gonna cut the wood away without breaking open the glade. Let's choose our... Reputation bonus. Now... We don't have a farm immediately to hand. So as, much, as good as a bakery or a rain mill would be, a rain mill would be a good start, really. I want the rain mill so badly, but I don't know whether we're going to have the farmhouse, which we need in order to make that flower. Uh, at, in, in quantity, at least on this map. The cookhouse would be good. But we can make flower uh, scrolls and building materials out of, the, out of this, and the scrolls would be a good way to get started on religion. Which our... The amount of pigments we're going to be getting is probably going to be really worthwhile. And we can look at the recipes for this. Leather, wood, or plant fiber. Plus either pigment or wine to make scrolls. And building materials can be made out of any of these. We should have... We should be alright in this regard. And of course, if we can get grain, roots, or mushrooms, we can make flour. The cookhouse requires some kind of 
well, some second ingredient, either vegetables, eggs, berries, or roots. What I have here and is not representative of what I might be getting. And right now, the only food source we have on the ground is eggs. Now, if we can have flour and add either berries or roots or herbs, we can make biscuits. And of course, for pigment, coal, copper, berries, or insects. Again, good way to be making scrolls. The bakery, of course, can make biscuits and uh, pie from effectively the same materials, but this can make it out of meat or eggs, whereas this one requires either berries. Like, it, you've got more ingredients to make pie out of. Plus pottery, which has its own uses in later construction. Then finally, the trapper's camp, which may be a useful beginners well early on get because if we get large quantities of meat insects or eggs I mean we can if we can get those insects no it's not here we can make skewers they're all really good which is more immediately useful probably the trappers camp I mean it's it's a it's a give and take. Like who knows what we're going to be getting into the, in in the next one? Who knows what's coming next? I'm going to pick the trappers camp for now. That's a good start. The carpenter, uh, kind of the brickyard, and that can make crystallized dew, which could be used to make tools. The kiln can make jerky, but coal would be good to get out of it, but it's burning our wood, in effect, to make that coal, I believe. It needs wood to make coal. Then you can make bricks in out of clay or stone. <sighs> I don't want to let the carpenter pass. I think I can ignore the herbalist camp on this occasion. The brickyard makes crystallized dew, and you can and you need a rain collector for this, but it can use any type of water. Some stone, and either herbs, vegetables, resin, or insects. And that crystallized dew could be turned into tools, or a bunch of other materials, but particularly tools. Thing is, I need both of these. I need the carpenter as well. Because if I get the ability to make tools but don't have the basic resource to make it. But I think the carpenter's better to start with. Luxury goods as well, good trading resource. And I can make it out of scrolls, training materials, wine, tea, ale, a bunch of good stuff that I can use for service buildings later. So I'm gonna make the I'm gonna pick the carpenter now. <clears throat> I'm gonna hope we get something better. <sighs> I think I already picked something to make leather a pigment hat, didn't I? No, no, I did not. The making pigment. See, ah. Uh, I should get this herb garden because the roots and the herbs. Roots can be used to make flour. Just to double check, did I get something that makes flour at all? Carpenter, no. And the archaeologist's office I've got to probably place down. So I didn't actually bring something to make. Uh, to utilize that farm. The leather worker would be able to make water skins, fabric, and pigment. All good starts, especially if I want to go for a religion route. Now, the the problem is, is that the water skins require leather and some kind of... Um, well, either oil or meat for some reason. I'm not sure how it's making out of meat. I get the oil bit. Um, but it would also be able to make fabric. Leather's going to be a hard one to come by. I'm not making leather in this map, am I? I was getting leather out of the trees, I think, before. But I am getting plant fiber. Which would be useful to make fabric. And the herb garden would allow me to get a constant supply of roots and herbs. God, I'm going to hate myself for missing this, aren't I? Oh well, needs must. Let's get this started. We got a lot of fields, we want to be utilizing them. Set that down. 
Then I'm going to put down the trapper's camp for those eggs. Right in front of them. And I'll move that up to the mark. Then I want a stone cutter picking up those rocks. Near those rocks as well for the same reason. And what you're going to do, and I'm going to hold control, and you'll notice it doesn't actually pass into the glade. If I hold down control while... Uh, with F pressed, it won't actually cut into the glade. But what it will do is cut up to the edge of the glade. That means it'll be collecting this wood, and all I need to do is just have him knock through the last section here, once he's ready. <coughs> The only thing we're missing here is the herb garden, and what I'm also going to do is, ahead of time, put down a crude workstation next to the uh, warehouse, as I did beforehand, to make sure we're making some basic materials, particularly those planks. Because we're not really going to be able to make them at large until we get the carpenter down, and we need fabric for that ahead of time, so it's not worth putting it down immediately until we've got the material we need for that. So we need a crude workstation regardless. Okay. Let's look at what we got. We already know. We're going to be rising hostility very quickly at this difficulty level. But otherwise, we should be good to start. And we're going to need to think about... At least I've got the human houses. They require bricks and... Uh, planks. But, you know, I'll definitely put those down if I've got them. I'll need regular shelters and human houses. I just need to figure out where to put down the human houses. Okay, first things first. Let's get a... Oh, I've got... I'll tell you what, I've got a bloody... Uh, lizard working the hearth. No, get a human in there. And replace that so you're getting the... Eggs. I better move the... Path up to here, so just to increase the efficiency slightly. Then I probably want humans on the stonecutter's camp, and I'll get harpies on the woodcutter's camp. Alright, crude workstation will be making... Out of whatever you can make it, but only make six. And I've really got to be... Don't be making any pipes, I literally can't use them. I've got to be using those uh, limits more often. Uh, I'll get a harpy and a human in here. Stonecutters camp, two humans can work here. Plenty of people to start with is a is not bad. Get two harpies and a human. Start cutting stuff down, and that leaves us with one person left over. Alright, that's our first cornerstone. Let's see what we get. Hidden reward. Gain one ancient tablet for every two completed glade events. The bonus is added retroactively. Expected gain zero. Progress zero out of two. Now we can get the exploration contract, and I like this one, early on. As well as the woodcutter's song, it's off to work we go, uh, for every 20 felled trees, global resolve is increased by 3 for 120 seconds. Yes, I'm gonna pick this one, actually. Because keeping on top of resolve, I mean, that sounds like a pretty hefty buff, even if it is only every 20 trees. So, we'll take that. Only the humans are particularly happy. Both the lizards and the harpies are pretty miserable, but that's alright. Orders! Uh, value of goods worth at least 10 amber or amber, so we're doing trade. That's what we're doing. Question is, do I want... Well, here's, do I want tools, wildfire essence and two people, or amber oil and two people? I think this is effectively free, because we're going to get the amber straight back. The oil is very good, and two people, as much as I like the tools and the wildfire essence. I, uh, I very rarely run out of wildfire essence. And maybe we can find a way to make tools, so I'm going to pick Booming Economy. Rich Harvest or Exploration. Deliver five packs of crops. I never like packs of crops. I never get what I need to make them properly, and I never get the crops in... In... I never get the crops made. So I guess we're going to go through Exploration and cut through the forest to discover four glades. That means we get workers assigned to glade events can carry five more items. 
10 bricks and 10 planks. So we'll pick that one and the third one. Complete two dangerous or forbidden glade events or deliver an ancient tablet. We get increased... We get steel drills which increase copper ore production, two wildfire essence and a bunch of coal, or meat, insects, and wildfire essence, and I think we can do this sooner rather than later. So I'll take the relics. The big problem is going to be housing, because I'm cutting away from the frickin' uh, half here, so I've not got a lot of space to set down houses. And there's the clearance. So I'm starting to think whether or not this one was actually the best of ideas. And I don't think it was. Let's have you finish cutting the wood you're supposed to be cutting. Cut down these trees. We can get into this glade quickly if we need to. I want to move you up here. You're idle. You've got too many people working here, I think. And we're not producing enough plant fiber to make the fabric out of. We might have produced a little bit. Okay, this last forest, this last piece of wood should be go going through pretty quick. And I want to get that trading post down here, which is why I cut those that set of trees down. Quickly. There we go. I'm moving you over here now to make a nice dent in this bit of forest. And I'll extend the path up there. Because I'm going to need housing probably in this region. Around the hearth as best I can. Alright. This trading post is almost done. And I can start thinking about the carpenters as soon as we've got more people in to work it. Mind you, everyone's uh, suddenly become happier. Which is good. Alright. Traders down and Sahilda will be coming next year. She won't come in the storm. Oh yeah, we cut down enough trees, I think, to boost the uh, resolve. But that should be alright. We'll survive this storm just comfortably. We're at level 0 hostility. Stonecutter's cap is now officially done, so you can get off that. And I'll tell you what, uh, for want of something better for you to do, let's get this carpenter begun. At the very least, you can, go, you can get down. And in fact... Now that those were humans on the stone cutters, I can get you onto the herb garden and you can start planting. By the time next year comes in, I'll be have more people in, so I can move this stone cutters camp. And then I can get started on housing once they've cleared this section away. I'm already done with the trappers camp as well. God, we've got to open up a new glade now. I'm going to break into this one first. Next year. Harpy went down to one resolve, because we bled through that bonus with the cutting down the trees. But we're otherwise pretty good. Okay. Hostility went up. We've passed a year, so that adds 30. Next year we will have um, at least one hostility, unless we can bring it down. Uh, rich glades. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. 5 for small deposits and 15 for large deposits. Woodcutter's Prayer. If you want to take, you must first give. This early on in the game. If I pause... Only if I unpause does that count. It will burn through all the wood we have and 6 coal, but... Increase our... Wood production by plus 1. Everyone gets two wood. That's a big bonus, and we only lose a little bit of, you know, coal and all the wood we have to hand. And this doesn't really help us immediately. It'll just increase the rate at which people come here, which might make, it, which might starve us out. I'm tempted to take the woodcutters, but the, both rich glades and the woodcutters prayer are very good at this stage. <sighs> Those rich glades are really tempting, but the wood is also very tempting, and I need wood. Go on. 
burn through all of our fuel, but we'll be making it a lot faster. And we'll bring in new people. We got three to hand. Planks, plant fiber, and herbs. Fine, I'll take the harpy and the two lizards. Let's get some shelters down. Just basic shelters for now. Let's just get two set up. That'll house six people and increase resolve. We'll be able to get on top of this. Uh, by the way, you should be making bricks out of stone, not... Well, if you can make them out of clay, do so. But you should also be making bricks out of stone now. I forgot about that. That's not automatic. Uh, these guys are just going to be idle until I, I've got somewhere for them. At least these humans are working on these roots and herbs. And there's Sir Hilda. We haven't got much on us at present. Plenty of eggs. So we can't really sell her anything. Um, we certainly don't have any amber. So, this isn't really useful to us. She brings us mostly food, items, and um, sometimes tools, apparently, and some basic crafting materials, which is good, but at the moment we can't really do anything with it. I mean, I don't want to sell my food this early on, and not the wildfire essence, all the parts, I'm going to need them. The only thing we got to hand is stone. So once we're producing stuff, we'll probably be better off. Uh... Okay, so we get these people housed, and I've got to make two, three human houses. We've got more orders coming in. Make at least one empathy decision. Give us three ancient tablets, a box of tools and meat. That's really good. Or deliver 50 grain. We'll get a bunch of humans. This is human influx. Uh, some incense and some bricks. All good. Both good. But I don't have a means to produce grain, and I think I'll be able to do this. So let's pick that. More trade routes. Five. Complete five trade routes and sell at least 15. So sell goods worth at least 15 amber to a trader or to trade routes or do human influx. Alright, this time I'm taking human influx. And fingers crossed we can get some bloody. <coughs> uh, we can get a better farm. The proper small farm. Alright. Forget all this. We don't have time. Get into that uh, Forbidden Glade. We don't have time to be waiting. We're out of resources. You have people who could be working here. Two lizards and a harpy. Making just tools. Do not be making luxury goods at all. And give me a limit of 20 tools. Uh, 20 planks, sorry. So we don't burn through all our wood. And you can stop making planks here. There is our... Okay, the Trappist Cab's got something to do at least. Uh, there is our Dangerous Glade. We have Escaped Convicts, which is our dangerous event. We've also got some Dewberry Bushes, which we can't gather here yet. A Medium Abandoned Cache. Which I think I want to open on this occasion with the stone we've got. And a Scribe, which would be really good for our possible religion thing. Uh, we want to deal with the escaped convicts. We can reduce global resolve by seven. Or... Arrest them. This would complete our empathy... Uh, decision, by the way. And we could- we could definitely do this now. We're in the- we're in the drizzle, so... We'd gain five people, bigger barrels for ale production, sacks of flour, and a bunch of parts. Uh, and if we don't do this, they'll be plundering and destroy three random caches, prioritizing the ones already in discovered glades, and give us an impatience point. Let's try and persuade them. That'll complete an event. Uh, we're only going to be done this, done with this sooner rather than later, so I'm going to get one of you out of this. Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm going to move you, put you back. I'll take away one of the people building a shitload of planks that they'll be done with so soon, and I'm going to move you guys up to collect these... Drizzle wing eggs. Then I'm gonna set. That leaves us with two people. That's not ideal. Let's get one of you out. 
That way we've got one person to hand. And we'll set a human and a harpy to persuade them. My, reducing global resolve, but in a manner we can manage, just about. And it'll take him 3 minutes and 30 seconds. We should be done with that before the storm. Let's put down another shelter. And lengthen the path. Oh, never mind. Okay. If I favor the harpies, I'm going to lose the lizards. That's a mistake. I thought we'd be able to manage it. It was in a slightly awkward position above the time at which the bet we were getting the benefits from cutting down those trees. And it just came down. That's what's happened there. We can either favor the lizards, but we are going to lose harpies, or we can favor the harpies and we're probably going to lose lizards. And we can't juggle it anymore. You used to be able to juggle these. I think we're just going to have to live with a harpy loss. There's nothing more I can do about it. Bad to do early on in the game, but I can't seem to find a way around it. There goes a harpy. One of my scouts, of course it was. That extends the time. And I've got no builders. And I may lose another damn harpy. Cut that. I've got no one working here now. Get rid of that lizard and have him finish off this shelter. That might bring him up. But I've got no homeless harpies. That's the problem. Actually, no, all my harpies are homeless. Excuse me. Come on. Have done. I'm going to lose a second harpy. This is a bad start, admittedly. That's a woodcutter. Early on, that's rough. But I'll have five more people once once these guys are persuaded to rejoin. So, you know, swings and roundabouts and all that. 20 seconds. We may lose a freaking third harpy. Oh, that's bad. That's a craftsman. That sucked. That sucked thoroughly. Three harpies down. Let's get another woodcutter in. Let's get these people working again. Nothing for this stonecutter's camp to do. And here comes the bloody storm. We're still at hostility level zero, but that's going to go up next year anyway. Um... God, I need to get those harpies housed. Human houses. I've got the bricks for it. This only houses two people. Let's go right up against the hearth. We'll put down three and get those built. That will house all, well, actually all but two of my humans. But you want your creatures in their own types of housings. They much prefer it. All right. Any mistakes and we're going to lose harpies again. Uh, I should get this scribe rebuilt. I've got some people who can do that. Just a bit of stuff. I can always put that on hold if I don't need them. Trapper's camp and I should get these abandoned glades. But we've done an empathy restoration and empathy decision so we can get some of those tools and now that we've got the ancient tablets, we can also hand in another relic and get some more food and wildfire essence. So we just completed two in succession. That gives us two buildings with which we can do something with. Whew. That's worthless because we can already produce the planks and I'm hoping to produce skulls elsewhere. Smelter would allow us to produce copper bars, which we can mine. But the miners hate uh, working. In the storm. 
like really badly so we better make sure that they're humans or we can do jerky now I don't think you can make jerky out of eggs which is the main thing we've been extracting but the skewers you can use eggs with insects meat and eggs so the cookhouse might be worthwhile the only problem and it can make pigment so I'm gonna pick the cookhouse here to start making skewers but it's skewers, which is only beneficial to the lizards. If I can get the jerky in... Well, you can make biscuits as well, but not without... Well, not without flour. Still, complex food is better than no complex food. So let's get the cookhouse. Really, really really could have done with a farm. And the press can make oil out of a bunch of stuff. I don't want it making oil out of meat. It can make flour and it can make luxury goods. But then I've got the plantation which is all right. Those dewberry bushes can be made at the herbalist camp so I'll pick that. And I'll have you collect, get you down and have you collecting those uh, dewberries. Because we'll need food. Oh, we're into another section. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, what's this? A fishman cave. I don't think that's good, is it? <laughs> we'll have to use the tools and get a working effect. Fishman totem spawns every 60 seconds uh, for the several minutes we'll be working on this, but it will give us a reputation point. And if we don't do this, we'll start... It'll start spawning three fishman totems, which we're going to have to deal with anyway by chasing it away. We can't feed them. We can't bribe them away. We don't have the amber, and even if we did, we don't have the complex food. Uh, what else have we got? Fertile soil, that's good. Copper veins, herb nodes, root deposits... Stone deposits, at least. Only small ones, though. Only one small one. No, three small ones. Alright, not brilliant, frankly. Alright, I guess we're spending these tools. If I had the stone, I'd spend it. Which we could produce here. I don't like spending the tools. Get two humans working that... And we'll just use the tools, no choice. <coughs> but at least I can get you working these rocks. If I can find a spot for you to fit. Alright, scouts are idle in the scribe. You're done with that? No, you're missing fabric. In time. Let's quickly pop down another regular shelter. There's a fishman totem. Where where was that? Sorry, that one. Let's get rid of these. So each time a fishman totem pops up, we're going to have to deal with that using one of our populations. So this harpy is going to have to increase the forest hostility by 40 points. <sighs> now, do we have anything to sacrifice? Some wood to bring that below to? Oh, uh, yeah. More people I don't really want to bring in just now. Going on to veteran difficulty was biting off more than I could chew. Herbless camp has been built and I don't have the people to work there. I'm running low on individuals. Fine, I'll bring in a nice cross section and some extra planks. Actually, I could use those tools back. But the planks will be useful as well. Let's get them more people. That'll put us over hostility level 2. But we can get uh, a harpy working there, and I'll tell you what. It's working there.
I don't have anyone working anywhere else. Fine. Just... How many harpies have I got? Four. I'll get a lizard. Getting those berries. And I'll get a lizard and a human working the stone cutters, because I'll need it. Cut more trees down. We got a lot of scouts going at the moment, that's the other problem. Actually, yeah, I should probably have you not working there, but I don't want you stopping, because it'll increase the amount of time. We'll be having to live at uh, 40 hostility. Plus 40 hostility. Uh, you're now idle. I don't have anything. I need to be able to make crystallized dew, actually. Or copper. I should get that cookhouse settled. So let's. And that does the same thing as before, so I can put in some decorations uh, for the purpose of wood. Same, I'm going to use the same design because I can't be bothered coming up with anything new. Uh, there. That'll look nice. Spend a bit of wood on that. And that'll increase the uh, hearth. I think I can go up to neighborhood now. Alright, we've got almost everyone housed. Which is not helping. But with the cookhouse done, at least we should have something. I don't think we have any flour on us. We have a, even a little bit that we might have gotten in through other means. And we got a little bit. Another fishman totem. You should be done with that one by now. How long have we got to deal with this? This will be done in nine seconds. I can wait. Send that harpy over... Th no, send the human... Actually, it doesn't matter. Send the harpy over there. <coughs> Deal with that one quickly. No, they're going back to rest. Another fishman totem. Oh, Christ. Here, one of you can get out there. I'll send a lizard to deal with that. In one more minute, we'll have chased it away. The fishman cave. But after this, I reckon now hostility should go down to level one again. All right, and then we can start putting people to work in the cookhouse. Just give it a second. I'm kind of stuck for time at the moment. It's another fisherman totem? Jesus Christ. Look, this will all be done shortly. Okay, you're done. There's a reputation point. Give me something I can work with. Now, am I making a lot of fabric? What is? What am I using to make fabric? I don't have a lot of materials actually to use fabric at. So I don't know whether going for clothes would be a great idea that I can make scrolls. Bakery, leather worker, weaver, training gear and trade goods. See, this all requires bloody, um, flour. And the only way I can make flour here is using these roots. I've got some reeds up here I could be gathering for, uh, fabric. So I don't know whether the bakery is a good idea. The leather worker requires leather, and I'm definitely not making leather. Have I got any leather on me? No. So none of these are really good pickups. Clothier. None of these I'm making. Fucking hell. Training gear, maybe. Rock and planks. 
and make the weaver the best option here. I really wanted to do religion. See, I've got the herbs, I just haven't got the flour in any way to make it. Herbs, eggs, all of these, like, I've got a lot of really good stuff here that I could be using to make these materials. Weaver might be my best option. Even then, I don't think I can produce enough fabric. I can make the reeds. Pick the weaver. Uh, gain 10 screws for pickles go pickled goods produced. Pickled goods would be a, a great recipe, but I can't make it. Gain leather production. I don't have the leather production. I suppose provisions wouldn't be bad. Setting up trade routes. Hurry up and be done with these. I want to get out of this hostility issue. More orders. Provisions and crops or deliver 15 amber and complete eight trade routes. God damn it. I have no idea if I can do that. <laughs> you want me to do this one anyway? Whatever. Get on this one. Okay. Just make as many biscuits as you can make. Should I tell him not to make pigment for now? Yeah, I'll tell him not to make pigment. I like lizards working here. If lizards working somewhere they probably shouldn't be or don't need to be. For instance, this carpenter can be dealt with just fine by a harpy. I'll just get one worker in there. There's Zorg. I might have something for you. Well, I can deliver you these ancient tablets. I need to get over 10 value of goods sold. Which I should do now. You can have one of my ancient tablets. I don't need that anymore. Don't sell the flower. Pigments aren't worth much. Yeah, you can have a part. So that'll be 10. Give me jerky. No, you don't have it. Of course you don't. Pickled goods. And just the freaking lizards like it. What are the biscuits? Pie? Nope. Only stuff the lizards like. Thanks very much. I can't get that down into... It's the roots! I can make flour from roots! I don't like this one. Just give me the straight amber for it then. Religion for incense, education for scrolls. I keep forgetting it's... None of... I want this, though. The bathhouse requires tea, which I can't make. Or well, the lizard house. I'm the bakery, why can't I get a farm? I don't have any incense on me, do I? 
I'm gonna take the temple now. Screw it. Can't build it. I can only send uh, stuff back to the thing, but I, I don't have the provisions, do I? No, I have some provisions. Fine. Let's send six meat and a provision back to the citadel. I don't have the building materials to do this. Let's do that. Let's just try and get the, those trade routes in. 